Tony Kiani said a lot of controversial things in professional wrestling, but today I think he said his most boldest and stupidest thing he's ever said because he's called Daniel Bryan, the American Dragon, the smartest person he has ever known. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And I think he simply just said this because Daniel Bryan is like in charge of the talent committee. He's the guy who lives and breathes professional wrestling. He's the guy on the other side of the counter from Blockbuster about 20 years ago. He's the guy that looks like a bum. He's the guy who's a midget. He's the guy that should never have main event at WrestleMania. He's the guy who got a chant over that bloody a Make-A-Wish kid could have got over. Yes. No. Of course, anyone could have got that over. But why? Why is he the smartest person he's ever known? Because what, he decided to get rid of CM Punk, which has turned out to be like the biggest financial flop in wrestling history. Like bringing Punk in was a mass was like a massive financial flop because it cost so much money, and then all the issues that stem from them not being able to like sort their own thing out with Wembley, and then the Young Buck thing with the dog Larry. I mean, like that happened like a, more than a year ago. And now the fact that they're going to lose this Warner Brother deal to Raw, and that's because CM Punk's on it. And these same these same AEW marks think that oh CM Punk has cost AEW the deal. Aye, but they think he's cost AEW the deal for his behaviour in AEW. If that was the case, then why would they want the Raw deal with him on it if they know that he's such a problem backstage? I'll tell you, because they're talking shite, but this is what he said about Daniel Bryan. He's living on the edge. He's amazing. I've never met anyone like him in my entire life. He's had three major injuries this year, and he's come back better every time. He's the smartest person I've ever known, not only in wrestling, but any walk of life. He's become the greatest wrestler of all time. All right, Tony. Fucking reel it in, son. It's an honour and privilege to watch him wrestle. I mean, what? I I just... Honestly, I, I don't get this, though, because... He had a match at the final battle, ROH, Peter Few, who cares, right? But it's almost worse. Because it doesn't even say anything here about the smartest person of all time. He's he's come out and said he's the greatest wrestler of all time. And that, that is worse than saying he's smart. I mean, my, my logic with him not being smart, I mean, I don't know Daniel Bryan personally, but... If he was fucking truly the smartest person he'd ever know, like, here, yeah, well, maybe the way he weasel himself up the card and getting the main main offend, maybe he's got a bit of IQ backing him up, but to consider he's the greatest wrestler of all time, Tony Canson, you need to sort yourself out, because that is absolutely ridiculous. And he's also committing, he's, he's, a, he's addressed the online criticism his company received, and he says they're under constant attack to be AEW is to be under constant attack. You do a great show and the next day somebody's saying something negative. I mean, I, that's just the way life works. Now, AEW sucks, so no one's lying, but even the greatest thing in the world has its doubters. So let's not pretend that... I mean, look at my WWE. People bashed. We bashed WWE. AEW marks live and breathe to bash WWE. And um, he says, you do five great shows in a row. Somebody says something negative. You break the record for the most tickets ever sold for a wrestling show in the history of the world. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> you break the record for the most ticker tickets ever sold for a wrestling show in the history of the world. Ah, oh, fuck off, Tony, man. Ah, oh. And some days, something bad to say about it. At this point, I don't worry about it. Ah, you don't worry about it. That's why you spend all your time greeting on Twitter and greeting on these dirt sheets. We need to go out and do great shows week after week like we did. We were the number one show on cable this week on Wednesday. We beat every show on TV on Wednesday. I have hundreds and hundreds of shows across hundreds of networks. And if we continue doing it, everyone's here going to be in a good, good position. Um, to be AEW, no matter what you do, people people coming for you, gunning for you, because that's what this is. There's a reason every single person who stepped into my position until now has gone out of business. I'm the only one left. Everybody who stepped up and put millions of dollars into this and done it after a week. There's no off-season. You do it 52 weeks a year. It's a fight. It's a credit. To the fans, I know what it's like to be a wrestling fan 52 weeks a year. It's hard, but it's the most rewarding thing ever. That's why you can't get away from it for too long. That's why we always come back to it. We're addicted. He's talking fucking shy. Is that like a dig at like all these other companies that have failed to go toe to toe with WWE? AEW is not going toe to toe with WWE. It's just got unlimited money and therefore it will never die. Unless 
Daddy Can pulls the money because like we can talk about the Warner deal not the deal not going through, but at the end of the day they'll just offer another network money. <laughs> when in reality it should be the other way of, other way about. Um, but that's gonna do it, guys, for this video. Tony Can meltdown mode as per usual. But until next time, peace. <laughs>